Well, the tide is uh, still ebbing. A bit more to go, as you can see. As you can see, it's one of those grey old days. But, actually, I kind of like the symphony of silver and black and the occasional, there's one now, silhouette of a bird in the distance, just an elegant whiteness, just an elegant blackness against the stark sky. So, we shall set off and just explore this bit of the Humber at low tide. I do like it. Those shapes are beautiful, aren't they? I came up to pick up Eleanor, so um, I came to the boat anyway. I needed to do a bit of varnishing and I was here, so I thought I might as well come out, spend the night. On this mooring, I um, usually raise the anchor. <laughs> On this mooring, I usually raise the center plate because once the cable got caught around the bottom of the center plate, so I raise it so that it doesn't get caught up, but that does mean the boat surges around a little bit. see that tide still running at pretty good speed. I guess it's got another hour to run maybe and it should be a pretty low tide so the the banks should look nice. Don't know where all the birds have gone. Out on the banks I guess. There'll probably be a lot around the corner. I do feel very secure here in Witten Island, here behind the island, because there's nobody going to get me, and the anchoring, the ground is very firm. There are one or two places where the wind, uh, there's a pile of rocks there, could make a bit of a mess of the boat. Hello, some wind now. And a bit of rain. You swine. Okay, I will um, postpone my departure a bit. Kettle. About to boil, so I'll have a cup of tea and hide below for a little bit longer until the weather decides that it is not going to rain. You swine! One of my Canadian bosses said, How much did it rain today, boss? And he used to say, 13 spots on a brick. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> 